Stoop. Tropic Thunder, Tropic Thunder, Jaku, ja, Jaku Taco on Rumble. Hey, Chicho, a long time listener. Have you heard of uh, Bent Key, new kids platform to compete with Disney? Uh, kids shows without the woke nonsense. No, no, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Uh, like for me, uh, the Pirate Bay is your best friend. Ryan on Rumble. Hopefully, everyone eventually leaves uh, CensorTube so we can stop supporting a platform that blocks ideas and content arbitrarily. Yeah, and promotes uh, <laughs> shit for brains. <laughs> That's one of them in our chat. <laughs> I only got to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, the Muppet movie, I'm assuming. I don't know how this movie got made. Oh, this one, Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder? What was the date on it? Tropic Thunder? I'm fantastic. It's, where is it? Uh, by the way, the, uh, da, 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 Muppet movie was made in 1979. Cocaine Bear is 2023. Tropic Thunder 2008. 2008 for Tropic Thunder. Uh, and I agree with Elder God. This movie should really, if you want to claim it on a, a place on a timeline it would have been 1990s maybe 1980s but it got made in 2008 and it was pretty damn sweet it has some fantastic funny scenes uh the ending again i didn't like it too much you know what maybe i'm confusing the ending of muppet movie with en this ending i think i did like the ending of the muppet movie i don't think i like the ending of this too much i can't remember now uh cows are the last movie to get away with a black face haha -ha. yeah hopefully we see you know we'll see uh wokeness die off and people do artistic expressions of whatever the hell they want right whatever the hell they want but it had some amazing th uh, scenes tropic thunder had some fantastic scenes right i wish there were more of them uh my personal opinion it had it went through serious down periods where it the the slapstick sort of died off a little bit and maybe it started taking itself a little bit too seriously maybe it in my opinion it it uh it extended sort of a bit that should have only been like a minute or two minutes into like five minutes or ten minutes um but i liked it it was a good movie Oh God! Muppet movie replaced the fake rainbow with a real one. Amazing. Fake rainbow with a ah. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's... How how sad that something beautiful has been uh, twisted, right? Homeless robot. No, the last movie to get away with blackface is the Canada movie. <laughs> Justin Trudeau, <laughs> Turdo, right? All they got. You went full hard, man. Never go, f <laughs> never go full. <laughs> never you full low IQ. You went full low. IQ. That brilliant, brilliant scene. That scene where the blackface is talking to low iq guy fantastic and by the way uh ben stiller went full like low iq in the last two years right like one of the things that took it away from me a little bit from the movie is knowing knowing how low iq ben stiller is like full-on low iq the guy's like vomit inducing now right Cruise is unrecognizable. Tom Cruise in this movie, brilliant, fantastic, and the character rocked, right? And he did an amazing job, really. Tom Cruise was phenomenal in this. <laughs> so, so Jet, Jet Black was really good too. Ali loved Tropic Thunder. is so funny. They were talking about making a spinoff uh, with Tom Cruise character. Really, it won't fly now. It be you can't too woke unless you make it outside of hollywood then go crazy if 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 they make a remake of this and destroy woke right 
it will be one of the gr- biggest grossing movies in history really people are so sick of woke their companies are collapsing because people are so sick of woke right <laughs> dancing vigil there he arms. <laughs> and his dancing especially at the end too so good so good so good oh, so good Alagata Zar, Zar, I recognize his eyes, and he was the highlight of the movie. Yeah, I agree with Aldergaard. He was the highlight of the movie. I recognize him right away. I, you know, people trash talk Tom Cruise and stuff. F them. Tom Cruise has done fantastic movies. He's put out some really good movies. A lot of good sci-fi movies at that, right? And he's not afraid to take on stupid roles like this. So he was good. He was good. Really good. <laughs> I'm laughing at sensor tube. Good, hilarious. Sensor tube has become a joke as well. Sensor tube is one of the biggest jokes. Sad joke, by the way. Now the guy he shouts his threatening montage. Then as he walks away, find find who that was. Yeah 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 yeah. Super good. Super good. Toby Wiki, what do you mean regarding Ben Stiller lately? Well, I'll look into politics, what he did, right? He, he, he did the same thing. Oh, man, Luke Skywalker, <laughs> Mark Hamill, what are you doing? You idiot. I got a feeling some of these people, you know, it's Hollywood. There's footages of them doing some nasty shit. And whoever has those footages says, hey, you clown you now you're gonna go do this represent right otherwise this gets released and you know where you're going and they're like yes master yes master we do right uh toby wiki yeah yeah like same place that uh mark hamill went to right same country supporting crap right so that took it away from me a little bit because he was just vomit inducing right uh but great scene one of the best scenes was when the director spoilers gang is when the directors they land in the helicopter and they're talking shit and the director steps on a mine and just unexpected to go right and ben stiller that scene was really good that scene was really good it's there that wait i zone out briefly what happened to ben stiller lately ben stiller uh uh, he, he he made a trip to uh, uh, to Ukraine, right? He was on the same uh, same uh, promo uh, warmongering thing as Mark Hamill, right? Insanity, insanity. Yeah, just reading that. Uh, so a good movie, fun movie. Oh God, this movie for me was the em- emptiness of Hollywood. Everything fake. So you are forced to create a new persona and forget who you are. Then take drugs to find yourself again. Nagushka, Stiller went full Sean Penn. <laughs> you never go full Sean Penn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mark Hamill, Sean Penn, Ben Stiller. They all went full low IQ right see jack black's care see jack black's character yeah elder god is correct right laugh out loud dancing vigil yeah three three sean penn mark hamill ben stiller all three went full low iq in the last two years right so their movies like Sean Penn great actor Indian runner Sean Penn the movie independent movie that he made with uh, I forget who it was uh, main actor Indian runner I really like that movie but I won't watch Sean Penn on anything again or watch any of his movies because he's in it's just oh just the whole concept of him being there is gross Ali booty sweat (laughs) sweat soda (laughs) 
funny, funny. Oh my god. Robert Downey Jr. Uh, taking uh, taking his face off when sa when saying, I think I might be nobody. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And when, um, I forget who the black guy is in, in, in the show, when Robert Downey Jr. is like, my people doing this, my people doing this. And the black guys go, what are you talking about? Who's your people? <laughs> what the F? <laughs> Do do you even know who you are? It was it was really good. Slayer that Hollywood celebrities forgot that they are the privileged elite, so they don't lose out either way. Wow. They lost their souls, man. They lost their souls. When you lose your soul, you're fucked. Right? Our people, yeah, our people, oh my god. <laughs> He's like, what? What do you mean our people? <laughs> it's like Trudeau putting on blackface going our people what what the fuck <laughs> our people <laughs> you it was funny it was funny good movie man i'm gonna kick my rating up to this i'm gonna i'm gonna make it a 6.5 i give it a 6.5 out of 10 maybe i do i initially gave it a 6.5 but i'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10 so celebrities preaching ethics is bizarre very very right very bizarre and celebrities coming out of the blue to support some major political event, right? Like George Clooney in Sudan. You knew that was a CIA op, the whole thing. When they brought out George Clooney to promote all this shit, right? They live outside reality. I See, here's the thing, Nancy Mitchell. I think a lot of these celebrities, when they're making it up, they'll do anything to get that role. They'll do anything to become famous and make money and whatever right and in that process the their handlers tell them to get on their knees and suck deep right and swallow and they get them to do a lot of nasty stuff and they got that stuff on footage so when their masters come calling they're slaves most of them right when their masters come calling they better do right i i think there's only very few of them that have a have the ability to stand on their own two feet right elder god uh less grossman uh, sacrificing his top star for a few bucks than dancing to his success uh later one later on slayer darth i find liberals to be just as bigoted as those they condemn like they'll condemn someone for being racist to blacks but they won't condemn their friend who has been racist to blacks in the past they people are confused people are confused purple philosophy on censor to movie stars are slaves 100 percent 100 percent hollywood is one of the most vile places you ever want to be man you don't want to go there you have any loved ones that want to go to hollywood become a hollywood actor hollywood star hollywood director and stuff tell them to don't go that way right work make money make your own independent movie stand on your own two feet right slayer that this is why I'm, I'm a moderate i find it much easier to not engage in politics with most people sometimes sometimes you got to stand on the right side of history brother now they got casting couch of love yeah simple simon was hilarious gang good movie what are your ratings what are your ratings what are your ratings purple philosophy ben steller and sean penn are uh known about suits what does that say that heart gets in the way not about uh to suit up and go fight russia they're not about they're just they suck so deep oh my god and i loved how they changed the movie sequel from global warming to deep freeze nagushka 5.5 for me could have been worse could have been better yeah could have been better could have been better and it definitely could have been worse slayer dark this is also why i don't like most comedians being topical it doesn't land very well usually elder god gives a 6.66 .6 out of 10 <laughs> dancing vigil 8 out of 10 just for tom's ha hairy arms awesome awesome tom cruise is dancing at the end gives it goes from 6 to 6.5 for me nagushka if the movie was solely tom cruise then a 10 out of 10 i'm glad they gave him a fair bit fair bit there ali on sensor 2 says 9 out of 10 nice <laughs> nice 
<laughs> Hilarious. For just for not being woke, kick it up to seven out of ten. Kick it up to seven out of ten, right? Gang, let's go to our last movie. Let's go to our last movie.